Welcome. Let's find out what's been going on in the sun today, 2nd of April 2011. Since the four sea flares that occurred yesterday, the sun has quieted down quite significantly, with the X-ray background dropping to about the B3 level. This is mainly because the sunspot regions have all seemed to be decaying at the moment. 1176 is going over the west limb. The, the sunspot in 1178 disappeared entirely. 1183 is at sun centre and is the most impressive region on the disc at the moment. And the small sunspot that I mentioned yesterday trailing 1183 was in fact numbered 1184, but then promptly lost its spot, so has disappeared as well. So we would expect the sunspot number to have dropped significantly over the last 24 hours. You can see the decay in each of these regions on the sunspot movie. There is not very much activity in the Helium-2 image, which is characteristic of the transition region at about 50,000 degrees Kelvin. If we look at the hot corona, there are several areas that I'd like you to take a look at, particularly the large connections between regions. Now these are thought to be important because it indicates how the regions interact with one another. A flare in one region may set off a flare in another region. And also, these interconnections represent a way of the magnetic field cancelling from one region to the next. The trailing region in one sunspot region is a different polarity from that of the leading spot in the following region, so they tend to interact if they get close enough together. Anyway, we'll go through the X-ray movie a couple of times and look at those interconnections. Particularly look at the ones between the regions near the disc centre and the north, also the ones on the east limb to the left. Again, not to over push the point of low solar activity, the coronagraph shows no CMEs in the last 24 hours either. So um, it's been a very quiet day all overall. Well, even though we have all the major active regions on the disk at the moment, they're all very diffuse and very weak. So again, we weren't expecting very much in the way of high activity. You can see there's a large region in the north following up behind these regions, but that won't be on the disk for at least another week yet. So again, activity should remain low for the next few days. Compare the auroral arc yesterday with that of today. It looked a lot more active. Why is that? We're now in a fast solar wind stream, and that has led to unsettled conditions in the magnetosphere, and has resulted in some spectacular aurora. Here are some of the images taken from spaceweather.com. Beautiful, aren't they? The KP index is an indication of how active and how far the auroral arc spreads southwards, and recently it has been near level 4, which is classified as unsettled. So in summary, the sunspot number has dropped to 62, the x-ray background has settled to about B3, F10.7 centimeter flux has dropped to 108, however now we're in a high-speed solar wind stream of over 550 kilometers per second, and so geomagnetic activity is relatively unsettled. What can we expect over the next day or two? Well, solar activity should remain fairly low unless we get some new growth, and so the chance of a really big flare is pretty low. While we remain in this high-speed solar wind stream, beautiful aurora like the ones I just showed you are quite probable, but the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm is quite low. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.